Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be going through our alternative communication option in our platform Expressia. Now once you click on the alternative communication option, you will notice that it will take you to the screen where there are so many boards already created. So what we can start with is create a board. So for that, all you have to do is come here, these three dots, click on it, and then it gives you the option to create either a new card, a new board, switch on and off, either uh, showing the selected cards or allowing the edit. But for now, let's just start with creating a new board. Now, whenever I choose that, it's going to come and uh, take me to this uh, option where I'm able to name the board that I want to create. So I'm just going to type in animals. OK. Now, with the option of uh, allowing edit on, you can see that there is this pen or pencil, I'm thinking it's a pencil, uh, around all these boards, right? So for the one that we just created, which is animals, all we have to do is click on the pen here or pencil, and then it will take us to this screen. So in Expressia, you don't have to download any images uh, in your uh, computer or device or whatever you are using because Expressia is already connected to Google Images. That's where you're able to get your um, images straight away from there. So if I come here and click on the option that is search images or image, sorry. If I type in the word animals and let's add a bit cartoon to it. Then we can see a few options here that's coming that, that are coming from Google Images. So I'm just going to pick this one here. OK, it's going to ask you if you want to crop the image. I don't want to. So I'm just going to say that's fine by me. And then you are able to also record an audio. And if you don't, then the dynamic reading will be turned on automatically. But for now, let me try to uh, add an audio to this board. So I'm just going to say the word animals. But for that, I'm just going to have to hold on to this mic uh, icon. OK, so animals. Now you're able to listen to what you recorded by clicking uh, on this speaker here. Animals. OK, so I'm just going to click on the tick here. So now my board is ready. Now, whenever I click on anything on Expressia, we're going to animals. Just going to listen to what you created. OK, so now that we are inside a board, we want to create cards, right? So we're just going to come here again to these three dots. And now I'm just going to create a new card. Again, the same process. I'm just going to come here, search image, and then I'm going to say cat cartoon. OK, so I'm going to pick this little uh, cute uh, kitten here. And then it's going to ask me if I want to crop or not. No. And I'm just going to name the card cat. OK, so I'm not going to record audio now. I'm just going to add it like that. Great. So now if I click on this card here, let's see what's going to happen. Cat. The dynamic reading is on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to delete this by just using um, this icon here. And then I'm just going to try going around the uh, boards that were already created before. For example, let's try this general board. General. So if you click on, the, uh, on this uh, card here, I. I. And let's try what else? Um, one, two. Want to. And then maybe go. Geo. OK. So if you come here to this play icon here and click it, what's going to happen? I want to go. So this is the uh, purpose of having the alternative communication uh, option, uh, just to form sentences and, and for you to be able to express, hence the name um, Expressia. OK. So. Uh, with that being said, we will meet again where we will go through the cognitive simulation option where we will learn more about creating games and activities for whoever you're presenting this to.